Here it is. The worst Elden Ring DLC review. Elden Ring D Let's see this. Turn it up, baby. And uh, there we go. Oh, dude, Kotaku is the worst, man. Alyssa Mercante might be one of the worst editors of all time in all of games journalism. And that's why I covered games journalism several times, to talk about game journalism issues and everything. Um, yeah, Kotaku is extraordinaire. Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC review. All right, let's see. Let's see what this, let's see what this says. DLC review. What's this? Hours into playing Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree, realizing it's paralleling my real life. Until Elden Ring, I avoid Souls-like. I hit a wall in Dark Souls Remastered and gave up. Barely touched Bloodborne and avoided Sekiro like it was a poison swamp. In the real world, I have mostly avoided the ire of homophobes. And <laughs> what the does homophobes and misogynists have to do with Elden Ring in From Software? Like... What is what is Alyssa Mercante thinking, man? She's the one who wrote this, by the way, this review. The misogynists and games industry writing an article that temporarily <laughs> shakes them up before fading into relative obscurity once Reddit refreshes. But now I'm willingly subjecting myself to an arduous adventure, running headfirst Dude, into a proverbial wall. Alyssa Mercante is like the biggest self-inflicted victim. Self-inflicted victim I have ever seen. You can pull the article up? Okay. So the article is still up. All right, well, we'll finish this video and then we'll pull up the article. Oh my God. Just to shake it up, back up, and run into it again. Outside of the lands between and Shadow Realm, I have spent nearly four months as a subject- Alyssa Mercante reminds me of one of those people that calls themselves brave. She'll do or say something stupid and be like, I'm so brave. I'm so brave of standing against the grave. No, you're not brave. You're, you're literally an idiot. You're like actually an idiot. And you get into fights for no reason, and you don't even make sense with 99% of them. That's that's who she is. Oh my god, man. I think she's pissed off every single major person in game uh in content creation for games. Like, period. Like she's pissed off, you know, Moist Critical is a really nice guy. Uh she's pissed off Asmund Gold, but that's easy. You can piss off Asmund Gold by just saying by saying anything dumb. Um, it, it, she's pissed off, um, uh, Mudahar, who's really hard to piss off. She's gotten on the bad side of, you know, aggressively going against Belular, who's, like, literally one of the nicest guys and most even-handed people of all time. Like, he's so even-handed, he has actually not even gone after Alyssa Marcante for being a psychopath. And it's, like, the lowest hanging fruit possible. And he still hasn't done that. He's that nice. And she's still tried to go at him. It's it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. ...of a near-endless harassment campaign. Maybe say, we don't want you around if you're going to be... Ac Accountable. And that... There the it is. There it is. This is her. This is her. Look, look upon this face in despair. She is the reason Kotaku went down the drain in the past, what is it, like five years or so? And then, um, and right now it's it's actually just in the gutter. It's like, it's on life support and they're straight up trying to sell it. Like the, the company that owns Kotaku, we did cover that in another video. They're just straight up trying to sell it. Industry is diverse because the world is diverse, you stupid <laughs> motherfucker. And if you have a problem with that, come fight me physically. It feels at times like logging on for a day. There, and you know the funny part of that video? There's no reason for her to say this. Like, no one was saying anything. Like, what, what the fuck is she talking about? And what does this have to do with... She, she said this during Summer Games Fest. That, that little, like, video is from her, um... Uh, doing like summer games fest and you can hear like all the people next to her awkwardly uh, uh, you know clapping uh, j j because they don't know what else to say at that point <laughs> I'm brave with putting up with my life yeah exactly exactly holy smokes holy smokes thank you you found the article thank you I will check it out after we finish this day of work is akin to walking through my boss's door over and over again before I even make the connection between my real world and from soft game world I subconsciously attack the shadow of the Erd tree with dogged determination as it oh my god we have to read this article don't we 
that besting a boss would bleed into my every day and imbue me with a higher tier of self-confidence. Much like it feels to receive near- she You see, every single villain- Remember this, guy. This is a history- This is a lesson for life. In history, every single villain was the hero in their own story. Alyssa Mercante is quintessentially one of those absolute narcissists who think they are the hero the entire time. They, they care not for their effects on the world. They think they are the hero. Which is just sheer main character syndrome. Endless hate comments from anonymous accounts or angry middle-aged men. I face Shadow of the Erd Tree entirely alone. No multiplayer summons would work for me in early access, a feature I relied on in the base game. <laughs> so I faced it solo, and after almost 20 hours, came out. Wait a moment. Two straight weeks? <clears throat> Two straight weeks? <sighs> Two straight weeks? For this? No, no, boys. Surely all of her time was put on the article itself. Let's read. After touching the withered hand of Mikella in the Mogwin Palace Mother. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Is this spoilers? I, I feel like it was spoilers. Well, you know, it was a good video. It was a good video. Here, we'll skip ahead. ...that Kotaku gets a preview code, and Massive Souls <laughs> content creators like Zyostorm don't is insane! Right. Right. And, and it's because Kotaku... It's okay, I, I, I won't pay attention. Um, but we skipped ahead. Uh, I think that it is insane. I agree that, um... Kotaku has used their position in the games industry to do things like get game codes and everything like that, when they don't even give a fair, uh, and, like, readily handed review. Ronnie Cosplay? Yeah, the Ronnie Cosplay was actually Emeru. Uh, Emeru is part of OTK, and I, I didn't watch it because I don't want spoilers, but there was a little event that they had where they got a review key or something like that. They got a special preview. Uh, Asmongold, Emeru, and... Uh, was it Tectone? I don't know. Someone else. It was a third person there with them. Another major part of uh, OTK. And uh, they essentially... And she was in, she was in a Ronnie Cosplay... Uh, Emru does a lot of cosplay. She's really talented at that. And um, uh, they they went through like the beginning of the the Erd Tree, Shadow of the Erd Tree, or something like that. Yeah, I can't. I don't know if it was Tectone or not. Yeah, Tectone. I'm not a big fan of Tectone, but uh, I, I I do I do uh, enjoy Emru and uh, Asmongold for sure. Uh, but yeah, I I did not watch it, but I did see that she was dressed up for it. I thought it was pretty dope, man. Yeah, she she puts a she puts a lot of effort in her cosplays. She's done a cosplay for like Briar. She's done a cosplay for like uh, Gwen from League of Legends. She's a big Le uh, League of Legends person. Um, she's, she's done a lot of those as well. She, she does a lot of really good cosplays. And um, she actually uh, uh, was very famous for cosplaying other people as well. She cosplayed uh, uh, Asmongold into an anime schoolgirl. She just created that as a cosplay. And it was that was an experience that was truly truly an experience you like yeah exactly good vibes yeah yeah, yeah. And, and like them together it's really nice because like emeru is like the little sister that asmongold never had so he just messes with her constantly and she messes with him constantly it's really nice actually it's really really nice and and uh Alyssa looks like uh Alyssa mercante is an attention seeker oh she is she is straight up an attention seeker yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I will say that, like, um, I watched a little bit of, like, um, the Steak and Eggs podcast, which is the OTK podcast that is um, headed by Tectone, Asmongold, and Emeru. And in those podcasts, Tectone is the most um, normal that he'll ever be. Like, in those podcasts, is like, I was like, all right, he's, he's pretty cool here. He's fine to listen to here, but and he's like very different on the podcast than he is on the streams uh, for for his streams. I, I actually cannot watch Techdown streams <laughs> like at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, the podcast is actually pretty funny. Yeah, they, they have a really good uh, chemistry and relationship there. Rafiki, my friend, welcome. It's a mimic. You expected a treasure trove of information about the game. Got trauma dumping instead. Yep. This is like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Holy crap. Oh my God. That's so true, man. She's like talking about how she's like suddenly trudging through her life. She's so alone, even though she's like, you know, self-inflicted her wounds by basically calling every single person on the planet a misogynist if they don't completely agree with her psychotic views. 
Uh, it, it's it's like on a different level, man. It's it's like one of those people that like shoves everyone away on purpose, and then looks around and is like, "Why am I so alone? I don't understand." Like, well, shit, lady, I don't know, man. This reads like one of those letters that like a soldier in the Civil War. Yeah, or, like, exactly, War. exactly. All quiet on the Western Front. Written by Alyssa Mercante. One sends home to his wife. It's like, yeah, half the squad got eliminated with mustard gas today. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm still here and I'm thinking about you and the kids. I can't wait to see you soon. I love you. Oh, my if God. You have a problem with that, come fight me physically. I love how it's like always the smallest and most aggressively psychotic person that is like, fight me. Come on, just come on and fight me. I'll fight you. <laughs> it's so dumb. No, no, no one would ever take that bait. Oh my God. All right, all right. So here's the actual thing. Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree Review. Massive, menacing, magnificent. Okay, well, she, at least she's rating it highly. Uh, it's just that good. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> um, yeah, paralleling my real life. Okay, so this is the part that uh, we... we uh, saw the video of uh yeah I, I love how like the entire intro has nothing really to do with elden ring amazing easily the most normal thing written by Alyssa mercante yeah exactly exactly well i mean taikato you don't try to fight everyone is the point i'm talking about someone who tries to fight everyone like their friends people who actually agree with them on various things they're just like well you don't agree with me enough so i want to fight you and it's like, what are you talking about <laughs> that's the thing that's the thing oh my lord there you go all right let's let's wash it out with some good news